Hi there, this is Craig and this is another mindfulness video. Uh, the theme for this one is doodling, uh, mindful doodling. Um, so I invite you, um, before we start, to find yourself a bit of paper, A4, it doesn't have to be A4, but just a bit of blank paper. Um, I also have a hardback book here to kind of do my doodling. Um, so feel free to pause the video and then when you have those things, um, and also a pencil or a pen, I have a pen here, so it doesn't really matter if it's a pencil or a pen. Um, so, okay, so just hopefully if you've paused the video and you've come back, you have those things. Um, that's what you need for this practice. So again, things like art and creativity um, we tend to think a lot about these things. Um, sometimes we think we're not an artist. Um, sometimes we think we're no good. Um, sometimes we might have tried to draw things in the past and just looked at it and gone, oh, that's nothing like what I, <laughs> what I had planned. Um, sometimes we have an expectation that we'll be able to do better than, than what we do. Um, sometimes we surprise ourselves as well. Um, it can go the other way. Um, sometimes we, we tap into our, ooh, actually, <laughs> pretty good here. Um, but all of that is thinking. Um, what we're trying to do with mindfulness is to not analyse anything. It's kind of like you are here with this piece of paper and you're going to do some doodling just for the sake of doing it. Um, it's hopeful that what will happen from this, where you, you'll get a natural joy, a natural kind of smiley happiness from doing something like this. Um, so it's often good if, if doodling or drawing isn't your thing, if you want to write or you want to do something else that's creative. Um, knitting is creative, gardening is creative, cooking a meal can be creative. There's many ways of being creative. Um, but the trick is to be there totally for your creativity and not really doing it in a way that you want to produce something amazing at the end of it um, in order to sell and or make millions. <laughs> it's all about the process. You know, the journey is the important thing here. So we're going to have a go um, of mindful doodling. Um, so the first thing to do is is the pen. If if you have a pen, you can sort of um, screw the pen if you if you're if you've got something like that, or you might have a pencil. So the first thing to do is just close your eyes for a second and just feel the pen in your hand, you know, or the pencil in your hand, and just get a sense of how you're holding that pen, and you can move it to sort of a this is where you're going to doodle kind of pose. So you're kind of holding on to the pen ready to do your thing, but you're kind of just, you're feeling the touch, you know. So again, while you're in touch mode, awareness of the pen, you're not thinking about the past or the future. You may notice that you have a thought of like, this is crazy or, um, <laughs> you know, what am I going to do next? <laughs> Um, and you might be a bit nervous about that, perhaps. So all of that is good noticing. It's just like, okay, hmm, this, this feels weird. Um, but often when we're writing, you can open your eyes again. Um, often when we're writing or we're drawing or something like that, we're not really feeling our fingers against the pen or the pencil. Um, we're somewhere else. We're floating away. Um, sometimes, um, we can be overthinking, you know, we can be very critical of things. So this practice is to try and let go of the critical you, <laughs> the voice in your head that says you're no good or this is this is hopeless or this is silly. Um, we're just being mindful. This is a wonderful practice. The more mindfulness you cultivate in yourself, whether you're holding a pen and you know you're holding a pen, or whether you're being in your body with movements or you're breathing as in a meditation. It doesn't matter how you practice mindfulness, you're creating this awareness. You're, you're cultivating your sense of awareness. And the more you sit in awareness, the more you're in there, 
the less stressed, the less worried, the less bothered you're going to be. So even mindful doodling, um, and I say even, which is a bit of a judgment, we're not trying to judge anything. Mindful doodling is so good for you because, again, you're using your awareness. So we're now going to do a doodle. So again, I invite you to close your eyes. I mean, make sure you've got your, your pen and paper in front of you so you know where the paper is. Um, but close your eyes and just what we're going to do is we're just going to make some marks on this page. Um, it doesn't matter what the marks are. Just follow your instincts, just your own intuition. And just for maybe 30 seconds or so, we're just going to draw on this bit of paper. So, and I'm going to do it as well. So off you go and just, just get a sense of where your movements of your hand are going and what you're kind of drawing. You know, are you drawing a circle? Are you drawing some funny lines, squares perhaps? You know, it'd be very interesting to see what you end up with. But just have a go. You feel the pen. I have absolutely no idea what this is going to look like. I'll show you when I've done. And try not to peek, just draw. Okay. And when you're ready, just open your eyes gently. Okay. So I'm going to show you mine. Um, here we go. So you might not be able to see that, I don't know. But you can probably see there's some sort of wavy lines there. Um, you know, um, wasn't sure that that was going to come out of me, but there you are. I actually quite like it. Um, so what's yours? Have a look. Um, and how did it make you feel? Um, did it make you feel joyful? Um, did you smile when you were doing it or were you like frowning or was it a bit kind of nerve-wracking for you? Um, what we're going to do now, um, now that we've just doodled um, and it's, you know, you can look at that doodle and notice if there's any judgment of it, you can sort of think actually quite like it or mm. <clears throat> not so much or it's just a load of wavy lines or whatever your mind says is fine. Um, but you've had a go and you've been mindful while you've done it. Good practice. Your awareness is now stronger. So what we're going to do now, um, again, I, I invite you to just turn your paper over. So if you do it on one page, just, just flip it over. And we're going to do another drawing um, just to finish. Um, and I'm going to, we're going to try and draw a tree. A tree. So... And again, we're going to try and do it with our eyes closed, which, you know, might be a bit weird, but we're going to give it a go. So again, if you would like to close your eyes and just in your mind, just visualize a tree. It doesn't matter what type of tree. It doesn't matter the size of it or anything, the shape of it. Just visualize a tree in your mind. What does a tree look like to you? And then using your mindfulness, holding the pen or the pencil, just really feeling that connection. Take a breath. Just ground yourself in the moment. And then just try and draw the tree that you're visualizing in your mind. I'm gonna try and do it as well. Okay, and when you're ready, open your eyes and let's have a look. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, I mean, it's a bit tricky on this screen, but yes, um, I kind of envisage a kind of barky textured tree um, with like big bushy leaves on the top. Um, so it looks and you could say that could look a bit like a tree, but uh, the jury's out. <laughs> but anyway, have a look and see what you drew. 
um, and see what you think about it. Um, and that is mindful doodling, that is mindful drawing. Um, obviously you can expand on this and actually look at a tree as you as you draw but and you can practice mindfulness when you're doing art when you're drawing and things this is really a good lovely practice for children as well um, so it's all about letting go of judgment of where you are what's happening you know it's like you're just flowing just like the pen across the page you're flowing you're using your ink or your pencil just to flow movement breathing as you do it you know you don't even have to think about it in order to draw lines on a page um, and actually you can get a lot of joy from from simple practices like this you may have also noticed out and about that there's lots of mindful coloring in books these days and it's a similar process is that you have a coloring in book and you've got your eyes open and you're coloring in little sections and you're choosing different colors colored pencils to color different sections in and that can be very calming it can be very relaxing because again you're just focusing on what's in front of you you're absorbing into the task at hand which is coloring in and there's no real product at the end of it you're not going to be able to sell these products um, you know it's just like it's just you're doing it for the sake of doing it that's the point of this whole video is to do things that give you joy without needing an outcome. It's the journey. And children do this brilliantly. It's play, you know, it's called play. Um, children can just pick up a stick in the woods and be running around with it and they could be inventing all sorts of things with this stick. And they're in the moment, they're, they're happy, they're, they're present, they're, they're full of life. Um, as adults, we sometimes forget about play, we forget about that joy that we had when we were children. And so doing simple things like mindful doodling can reintegrate you with that sense of play, that sense of joy. Um, and it's important to have some joy in your life because um, if you're constantly stressed and constantly tense, your body will feel worse and you'll feel worse and your mental well-being will suffer. Whereas if you add joy into your day, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's doodling or running or walking or gardening or cleaning or whatever it is you do that gives you joy, maybe reading a book, maybe listening to music, watching a film, whatever. If you're there totally for it and this is the thing that gives you joy, you're topping up your joy levels in you, which means that your stress levels are also going down. So notice in your days whether you're joyful or not um, whether you're heavy and tired and stressed all the time if you are you've been up here thinking too much and so it's a mindful opportunity to then come back to your joy you know do something that feels good for you um, because then that can balance out all the heaviness and all the stress and all the tension and like my life's not working and this is awful and how do I cope? Let go of all of that, come back to something as simple as colouring in um, or reading a book or doing something that gives you a lot of joy. Cups of tea give me a lot of joy, um, hot chocolate indeed, or eating chocolate cake can give me a lot of joy. But if I'm there totally for it, then again, it's, I'm in the journey, I'm in the flow of eating that cake. I'm not just thinking about the next thing afterwards. I'm slowing myself down as well, which is also good for anxiety. So much is good in this pausing and doing and doing things just for the sake of doing them. For, for joy, not for gratitude, not for anything else, not for people to like us more, none of it. You're doing it for fun. So that's the video and I hope you've enjoyed mindful doodling with me um, and yeah thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you again another time. Bye just now.